Alright, so this is my vanity station. This is where I get ready in the morning. Right, so we're going to start in here. So this mirror actually opens up, which is really cool. So it's kind of a double. So in here I have jewelry so some earrings and stuff that I don't wear too often I keep it in there so this is where I keep all my skincare because we don't have a lot of room in the bathroom so my facial moisturizer my cellar water this is the Bosha exfoliating face gel which I really like and then down here I have some more skincare so all my pixie oils my Caudalie moisturizer Garnier moisturizer and my face cream that I use for blemishes and then down here, not too much going on, just deodorant. And then I have all of my horribly dirty brushes right now that I need to clean. And then these are the brushes I used earlier today to film. So this is my get ready station in the morning. This is where I keep all of my day-to-day -day uses. So my Tatcha face mist, my setting spray right now that I've been using is the Maybelline Master Fix. And then of course my Fenty and Fenty Primer. Our CMA powder and then my facial moisturizer right now, which is my Moisture Bomb by Garnier. And yeah, so my brushes. I actually got this at Ross. I liked it because it had a little Eiffel Tower. This is where I keep all of my other setting sprays that I'm not using. Most of them are on death's door. They're practically empty. So I just kind of switch them out until I buy some more. And then these are some of my favorite mask and face oils. So I have this one by, by Tatcha Harper. This one is my favorite by Fresh. I love this. I need to get a full size of that. Oops, I had to focus. Sorry, guys. And then here is where I keep all of my foundations. Kind of goes back, but I think I pretty much use most of these. I just used this in my Milani video. My Makeup Forever. This is the um, Vanish Stick by Hourglass. My Drugstore, so Wet n Wild. Maybelline Fit Me. Neutrogena Hydrogenius. The True Match L'Oreal, and then my favorite Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea back there. I think I have some more hiding back in there, but I can't quite see them. So, oh yeah, my Too Faced Born This Way is back there as well. And let's go into my first drawer. All right, so this chair is where I sit in the morning, and this I actually got at Ross for a pretty good deal. So that's where I sit, and then this is pretty much where all of my day-to-day -day essentials are. All right, so this is where all my brow stuff is. So. My e.l.f. brow pencil. Try to keep it organized, so brow powders here, my pixie brow powder down here, brow gel here, and then I have all of my, these are my brushes for my brows. Here's some my Anastasia, the ColourPop brow pencil. So I usually try to keep all these organized in here. Lash glue, which is not supposed to be in here. Then other brow gels that I like to use and brow pomades. And this is actually a gel eyeliner from Maybelline. Then off to the side, just so I can try to remember to use this. This is the Grande Lash Serum and the um, mascara that comes with it. So I keep that on the side. And then this Tatcha Lip lip balm that I got in a set and right over here just very randomly I have all my fall lippies that I've been loving right now so I keep them here so I don't forget to use them then in here this is my concealer and color correcting drawer and then this Maybelline fit me stick this is usually what I use on my no makeup makeup days but it's just in here because of the way that it fits and then a little beauty blender which is so weird I tried it once and then I didn't really like it so I just threw it in here so I have my Mac this is a studio finish concealer I never use this on my channel but I pretty much use it every day and as you can see it's been used these are all of the concealers that I have right now so my NARS creamy my Maybelline fit me Milani my Tarte shape tape more Maybelline wet and wild this is the Mac prep and prime this is their color correcting stick this is in peach luster so I use this whenever I'm color correcting but I also have the smashbox color correcting stick here so then back here this is all these are all of my black eyeliner so pretty much any black eyeliner that I own I keep in here NYX chubby pencil but it just have like Rimmel Ico this drawer doesn't pull out too much so I can only show you so much but yeah there's a backup of my Gajal pen by Pop Beauty and yeah so these are all my black ones and then over here to keep them separate these are all of the ones that have some type of color to them so the NYX Vivid Brights the Glam Liner by NYX I have like my Ofra liner this is Jessie's Girl so yeah these are all of my colored ones and then these are my mascaras that I'm currently rotating you might have saw this in my favorites video my tardiest mascara I love this stuff I have the lash trifecta by Milani 
the Maybelline Big Shot, the Lash Sensational, one of my all-time favorites. So pretty much all the mascaras that I either use or have opened, I try to keep them in here so I can use them before they expire. Yeah, this is my In Rotation Mascara. So this is where I keep all of my go-to primers. These are all of my sample primers. So I have like this Prep and Set by Clinique, which is freaking amazing. I love this. Smashbox Radiance Primer with Cover FX, Benefits, this is a Estee Edit something. And these are all of my go-tos. So my Angel Veil, my Smashbox Auto Finish. And then I also like to keep like liquid bases because I like to mix these in with primers. Or not liquid, I mean like glowy, highlighty type things. So the NYX is a liquid illuminator. I have the Dr. Brandt Illuminating Pores No More. That's what this is called. My number 50 by It Cosmetics. This is a primer and like a moisture. Like this is an all-in-one. I love it so much. A sample of the Becca. I have the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Coconut Primer by First Aid Beauty. I have my e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate. This stuff is really awesome if you have dry skin. You should totally try it if you haven't. And then try to show you as much as I can. This is my highlighter drawer. So all of the highlighters that I use pretty much. I don't think I have any backups right now. So these are all of my highlighters. These are like highlighting sets. So this one is by Pure Cosmetics. This one is by Vintage Cosmetics, I believe. I have some samples like my Becca Opal, my um, Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which I love. It's the Becca Prosecco Pop, then my Ofra Fenty Beauty. I also have, these are all Wet n Wild, so this is the Precious Petals in the two limited editions. And this is also by Vintage Beauty Gorgeous Highlight. And back here are some other highlights, a little bit more subtle. I believe these are Makeup Revolution. I have my Essence Pure Nude highlight back there and then some liquid highlight. And then my Artist Couture highlight is hiding back there somewhere. So yeah. And moving over, this is where I keep all of my blushes. And then I keep this Makeup Revolution highlight in here because it's too big to go in there. These are all the blushes that I kind of rotate out. So Makeup Geek and I have some Tarte. A lot of these I've gotten in boxy charms. These are my cream and liquid blushes back there. I don't really use those because I'm not really a big fan of cream blushes. So now I have my NYX, my, my Makeup Revolution nude blush that I love, my Milani Rose blush. These are all Wet n Wild blushes that are all back here. And then a couple of MAC blushes that I have back there that I haven't worn in ages. All right, going into my powders and bronzers, I have my Sasha Buttercup Powder. I also have the NYC Smooth Skin Powder. So underrated, but so freaking bomb. And then these are all of my bronzers. So my NYX, my CoverGirl. This one is like a Ulta bronzer that I bought years ago. And my Black Radiance. And this one is the Rimmel Trio. And this is where I keep like my setting powders and face powders. So I have the Milani powder. I have the It Bye Bye Pores, the Derma Blend, and then I keep this little bare mineral sample here. Yeah, this Maybelline face powder, this H&M face powder, and then the bare minerals duo that I have here. So yeah, this is where I keep all of my contours and setting powders. So now we will make a trip to the next drawer. All right, so this is my kind of mixed drawer, so We'll start on this side. This is where I keep my eye cream. So I have my Ice Skin Iceland. This is by Caudalie. And, and this is where all of my primers and like eye bases. So my Paint Pot, my Milani Eye Primer. This one is by Elizabeth Mott. And then I also keep my Inglot Duraline in there as well. And this is for all of my sample lippies. So anything that I get in like a subscription box, it's super small. I just throw them in here. My NARS, this is my favorite red lip pencil. It's friggin' amazing. And back here, it's just a couple of random perfumes. Yeah, so this is where I keep all of my hair accessories. This is what I use to pull my hair back sometimes in my videos. And then this is my tool, so I keep nail file, backup tweezers, brow shavers, scissors, more eyelash tweezers right here, and then a little sharpener. And then right here is where I like to keep my Q-tips and my cotton swabs so that I can take off my makeup when I'm using micellar water. And this is where I keep all of my clean beauty blenders and beauty sponges. And then back here is where they are all go to 
rest until they get a bath. Then right here, I keep some backup brushes. So I have some face brushes, powder brushes, this cutie little brush that I got from H&M. I totally love this. It reminds me a lot of my e.l.f. brush. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to use that. So right here, I keep all of my lip products. So lip balms, this is a Jouer Lip Essentials, anything lip related, I keep it in here. And this is for lip scrubs. So I have this by Beauty For Real. This is their lip scrub. I have one from Lush, Nia Naiko. You guys know I can't say that right, but you know what I mean. This one is by Chapstick Lip Scrub. Right here is where I keep more lash glues and sharpeners. And where this guy belongs. So yeah, this is where my lash glue is. And then this is where I keep all of my lashes. So most of these have been beaten and worn to death. Have tons of wispy lashes studio effects these are the ardell foam mink lashes which are really gorgeous i have my pure cosmetics lashes here these kiss lashes that i talked about displaying products why do i keep holding on to these i just need to build these away all right and then i have um all of my eye lore lashes here and then further in the back is where i keep my I can't show you guys it's super difficult to show you back there but where i keep my linen lashes and my kiss lashes all the way back there so yes, this is where my lashes live so this guy right here is just a little makeup cube that i bought i want to say from like tj maxx or something so this is where I like to keep my lipsticks on display and pretty things. So I have all my lip liners back here. My Juicy Couture perfume that is just on display because it is stunning. And then this Burberry Black perfume that I thought was a cute little box. So here I have all of my Milani lipsticks because they have that gorgeous gold top. So I keep all of those up here. And then I have some Lime Crime. These are Makeup Revolution lipsticks. Um, they're okay. I just keep them here because I really like the packaging. And then this one by Mellow Cosmetics and Nude. I really like this one. Since I don't have a second one, I just put that little baby Lime Crime there. And then going into the drawers, this is where I keep some backup foundations. My MAC Pro Longwear. I haven't worn this in so long and I don't know why because it is literally one of my holy grail foundations. I freaking love it. And then this is by Jouer. This is their Luminizing Moisture Tint. It has SPF 20. It doesn't match my skin that great, but I keep it anyway because it's really nice for no makeup makeup days. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I really wish they would make more shades of this. The deep skin shade ranges just suck. Like L'Oreal, please get it together because this is unacceptable. The Dream Velvet by Maybelline and then also the Dream Cushion by Maybelline. Then in this drawer, I just keep two eyeshadow palettes. So the NYX Ultimate Palette, very colorful. I still haven't played around with this. I really need to get to it because it's such a stunning palette with so many beautiful colors. And then this is just kind of like my random, horribly made DIY Z palette with my go-to little single eyeshadows that I have in there. And in this bottom drawer is where I keep all of my pigments and are my loose pigments, single eyeshadows that I can't fit into a Z palette, and then eyeshadow chubby sticks. So I have some from Trustee, Star Looks, there's a Laura Mercier, Absolute Beauty, my Stila, Loose Pigment by Lena Lashes, Crushed Minerals, I have my NYX Glitter Brilliance. These are just single shadows, Cargo. This is a white eye base from NYX. And this I actually got from Sally's. It's kind of jelly texture, but it once you get it on, it's really, really gorgeous. So it's very blingy eye base. And that is all in these drawers. All right, so this is my super girly section. My fairy lights died. I need to put some more batteries in them. But this is where I keep pretty much the majority of all of my lipsticks. These are just brushes I keep on display in this cute cup that says Talk is Chic. So I put these up here because they're pink on the top or they have the gold. So I thought that mix looked really good with my room. This is a little Tory Burch perfume in Absolute. This is my all-time favorite. Oops. My all-time favorite Tory Burch perfume. It smells freaking amazing. Then I keep this little dish up here with an S on it. I have one of my favorite necklaces. It says California, super cute, and some earrings. And it's a picture of me and my bestie for New Year's. We went to Lore, obviously. Hey, Ariel, if you're watching this, shout out, boo. And let's go on to lipsticks. All right, so the top lipstick drawer. Try to keep it pretty organized for the most part. So I have some ColourPop lippies. But you can, pr I try to keep it like this because you can pretty much see what you're gonna get right here 
So these are Wet n Wild, NYX. I have a variation of like, these are my Ofra Lippies. I have some NYX lip lingeries back here, Absolute Beauty. I have some Tarte, some other brands down here on the bottom. These are all NYX suede lipsticks down here. I have my Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. So those are some lipsticks in there. And then in this drawer, I tried to keep it pretty consistent. So I have all my NYX lipsticks, so my mattes, my Wicked Lippies, my Velvet Matte lipsticks. I have some, these are the Shea Moisture lipsticks back here. All these ones in the back are Wet n Wild lipsticks. And then I have a couple of other random brands over here, some Ulta, things like that. This is a random little lipstick that kind of throws things off, but because I have one of my Maybelline lipsticks in my drawer, this is how I have this set up. So these are all of the Maybelline, like their color sensational and different lipsticks. So all from Maybelline right down here. And then this bottom drawer is my kind of lip gloss, weird lipsticks that don't really have a shape. So my Color Jolts by Maybelline. Wet n Wild, some NYX Butter Glosses. I have this J Cat Lip Stain Pillow Plumper from Soap and Glory. And then just other little random lip glosses that I don't really wear very often, but I keep them in here anyway. And yeah, so this is my lip gloss drawer. Right, finally, moving on to the Alex drawers. We're gonna go into the top drawer, and this is pretty much my mask drawer. So all back here, I keep all of my sheet masks. So I have a ton, ton of sheet masks. So yeah, this is the Pure Less Mask sheet mask set here. I keep some random little samples and things right here, and then this baggie is full of masks that I got at Beautycon this year. I have Bio Oil, more face masks, so by Feeling Beautiful, I love these masks. This is the e.l.f. spatula that I recently bought and I love it because it's so easy to apply mask with this. This is by Derma E, the Overnight Skin Peel. And then I have a toner from L'Oreal. I have my cleansing oil from Neutrogena and also a face wash from them as well. All right, so in this drawer, it's a little random. I have the light therapy mask here and the spot treatment. I haven't tried either of these yet. Luckily, I haven't had any breakouts, so I haven't had to use them. Some band-aids back here, and then these are just razors. This is the Nivea in shower body lotion. I really love this stuff. I think it's amazing. Travel soap and glory clean on me. I have my cinema secrets that I use to clean my brushes. Travel ponds face um, face moisturizer, another Laneige sleeping mask, my Glam Glow, this is the Youth Mud Mask, I love this tea tree oil for when I get breakouts, I just keep this little Maracuja oil bottle because I think it's really cute. Alright, so on to this drawer, this is the drawer that I worked on in my um, Organize My Alex drawer with me and I totally revamped it and it looks a thousand times better. So this is pretty much everything that I got from Beautycon and a little bit more, so I transitioned some mascaras. So I have the Lash Paradise Mascara that I still haven't tried yet. And then I keep some other mascaras. These are ones that I have yet to use or open. So most of them are samples. So I have a lot of sample mascaras from like Sephora, Benefit, Lancome. And then this is where I have all the Revlon lipsticks I got from Beautycon. Some more Revlon, L'Oreal, Rimmel Stay Matte. So right here I have more colored liners that I have here. One by Makeup Geek. And then these are backup primers that I have in here. So Milani. NYX, I have Maybelline, and then this H&M concealer, which is god awful, but I keep it because it's such good packaging, but this is like the worst concealer ever. All right, so this is clearly my eyeshadow palette drawer, and oh my gosh, I did not realize how many eyeshadow palettes I have, but I'm just going to kind of roughly go through this. If you want a more in-detailed look at my eyeshadow palettes, just let me know in the description box. I have my Juvia's Place, my Modern Renaissance palettes. This is from Tarte. I keep my City Mini by Shayla here. Really great palette. Some NYX palettes here. I just have the Pure Soiree Diaries palette. This is an e.l.f. palette I got. It's like a holiday set. My Milani palette's back there. My NYX Beauty School palette. Some smaller stuff like e.l.f. Studio Makeup right here. So Real Her. It's just some other palettes here. Underneath here, I have some more small palettes. So e.l.f. Wet n Wild, I have my Laura Lee Violet Voss palette. I think that's all that I have in here right now. And those are pretty much my eyeshadow palettes. All right, moving on to my fun, fun sample drawer, which is an absolute freaking mess. So everything in here is a sample that I've gotten from a subscription box, from eyeshadow trios to single eyeshadows. 
These are all of the perfumes. Have like liquid illuminators and these are more backup mask when I want to try a different mask. I also have some facial moisturizers here. This is where I keep primers. So these are all just regular cleansers that I have here and then these are all of my exfoliating cleansers. Yeah, these are all of my samples from subscription boxes. So crazy how many samples I get, but this is literally the only way I could think to organize it all. And so this is the other drawer that I organized with you guys and also changed again. So I'm going to take this out. Oops. All right, so I did it like this. So I still have everything back here set up the same. So all of my powders that I'm not using right now. So I keep my Fenty Beauty packaging because I really think it's gorgeous. So I keep it there. And then this is some stuff that I've gotten in recent subscription boxes. So the Dr. Brandt. Pore Dermabrasion, Brogio, this is their deep conditioning mask. This is a Kabuki brush from Pop Beauty. So things that I either wanna try or that I've recently gotten in boxes that I haven't sorted out yet, I just kinda kept those in here. And then right over top of that, I have this to keep this. Since it won't go to the bottom of the drawer, I just kept it like this. So more subscription box of makeup, full size stuff mostly. So ColourPop lippies, Kat Von D lipstick, this one's by Ciate, a lip plumper, Plumper. <laughs> the lip plumper from Grande Lips. These are like mascaras and liners that I want to try out or that I love. Elf eyeliner that is really nice. This is actually a brow pencil from MAC that we got in a boxy charm, so I'm excited to try that. And then I have some face mask and moisturizer. So these ones are, I have another Tata Harper, which is really nice. This one is a blue tansy. I haven't tried it, but it's a resurfacing mask and I really like those. So both of these are resurfacing, so I keep them up here. And this belief moisturizer that I've always wanted to try, I keep that there. Highlighting stick, some random thing that I got from Beautycon. Blur from Milk Makeup Stick. This is a small sample of the Professional from Benefit. And then these are all eye polishes and stuff that I actually need to put in that drawer that I showed you guys earlier with all my loose pigments and stuff. I'd say this is by Touch and Soul. It's like a loose glitter. And then there's also a glitter cream in there. So I think that's really cool. I'm excited to try that. More face creams. This is by Rin. This is their day cream. Sephora day cream and then one heck of a block. I might give this to my friend because she has oily skin and I don't want to be a dry cakey mess. So I will not be using that. Right, this drawer I'm just going to very lightly touch over because there are 1,000 things in here. This is my hair drawer. So hair mask, hair oils, conditioners. I have this. Jamaican black castor oil that I put on my hair as well. So on the side I keep brushes. Back here I have conditioners, dry shampoos, keep my clip-ins in there, more hair tools in here, dry shampoos. All right, and I also organized this drawer with you guys. I did not change anything in here. So I have mousse, I have these sponge gels that I can't wait to try. A lot of Bath and Body Works because I love like their Japanese cherry blossom. This they discontinued and I'm super, super upset. It's called Sky and I swear to you guys, it smells like a freaking dream. It is like absolutely delicious. This is also by Bath and Body Works, I believe. It was in their holiday collection. And this I got from Holiday a couple years ago, Thousand Wishes, and then the lotion to go with it underneath there. And Nivea body cream back there. So yeah, this is my drawer of lotions and randomness as well. My favorite drawer, probably because I love doing my nails. This is my nail drawer. I bought this little guy at Target. So this is where I keep all of my nail files, toe separators. I plan on painting my nails this color tonight, so that's why this is here. But this is what I used to actually do my nails since I don't wear like acrylic nails. I do a lightless gel with silk wrap and I keep those things in here. And then what you do is you'll spray it and then they have this gel cure which makes it solid. So that's how I get my nails to look like this because the nail shop never does it right, so I gotta do it myself. OPI, this is their nail little set that I got from Beautycon. So this was an idea that I actually saw on YouTube and it was freaking genius so this girl actually she went to the container store and bought these drawer separators and then she actually used them to separate her nail polishes and her lipsticks and I was like oh, freaking genius but because I have so many nail polishes I kind of had to tweak it in my own way so all of my larger nail polishes so these are all my Sally Hansen polishes have some OPI have some simple colors all my like NYC nail polishes from Target, some more Sally Hansen back here. So I kind of set it up like this and it worked because I couldn't do all squares. It didn't work because too many of these polishes are different sizes. 
And then I keep in the back, I keep cuticle oil and nail polish removers. All right, if you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching my makeup collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below your favorite items in the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.